Yes. Uh, me, me and Rada go back to Punahou. That's our, that's our time. I came from uh, I came from uh, Beverly Hills, uh, Hawaii. <laughs> this call. I love housing. I love housing very special. But I came to Punahou, and one of the first people I met was uh, was Ron, and uh, you know he, he loved being Jewish. <laughs> and when eventually, when I when I uh, got it, went into the show business, two Jewish guys really had a great effect on my business. One was Ron, and the other one was Akuhel. And Aku and Ron, Ron told me, he said, well, if you want to go into this business, well, you got to be sure one thing. If you know more the butts in the seats, so you get checked. Nothing. You got to get the butts in the seats. So that was a very important thing for me. So I learned how to hustle people into the seat besides being an entertainer. And then I told Ron, I said, uh, Ron, I'm not sure if you know it, but the anthropologists of, of modern day, they, they, they think that the Hawaiians were part of the lost tribes of Israel. <laughs> and he looked at me, he said, so? And I said, well, now when I talk to you, I got a charge. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me, he laughed, he says, you okay, man, you okay. <laughs> and then I said, don't be your friend. The only reason why I'm your friend, because you live up by Diamond Head. And all the rich people live by Diamond Head, and I want to be associated with the rich. Yeah. And so I had a, you know, I, we had a going thing as, as life went on. And my brother says that he was a teacher. He was. For me, if I succeeded, if I succeeded in, the, in show business in Waikiki for any reason, it was because of those two Jewish guys telling me, you, get, you know more the bus in the seats, you get nothing. Because mm. then I knew, I found out how to hustle the, the tourists. The tourists used to have briefings. And I found out. <laughs> and I told, I, I did after show one morning, he said, well, if they get the briefings, you should go, go sell your show at the briefing. So that's how uh, I became very, very successful yeah. as a result. Fill my room up, you know. Because before we did the briefings, I was I would get ten people in the showroom. Oh. Especially because my name Harrington and all the tourists come there, who who the hell is Harrington guy? You know? <laughs> so and then we began to make a, a sense of humor out of that. But that was the thing about Ron. He taught he taught us. He taught us, you know, you gotta hang in there. And, I, and my, I've, I've, I've done anything with my kids. I wanted to, to tell them, please, no give up, hang in. And that's what I learned from Ron, and, and especially from Aku, Aku, Aku here too. I can't even see, this, see his, him saying to me, no more the butts in the seats, you got nothing. So from then on, I said to myself, okay, now we got to find a way to get the butts in the seats. And the briefings, the tourist briefings became very important in, in, in my process. So I began to do, I was the first entertainer to do, to go into briefings and, 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 and pitch my show and pitch the whole thing so that the tourists would buy tours from the tour companies. So that's, that's my, 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 my sharing with you of what this particular human being did to this human being because as a result of that I had three kids going to Puno Hall at that time. Whoa. I was just telling them and, and uh, the, mo the money would go from my hand right into Puno Hall's hand. <laughs> but if it wasn't for them, I mean I'm all, of, all of my kids now, they get college degrees in the right home for money. <laughs> So, I'm, <laughs> so I, got, I got lucky because of two, two Jewish guys who told this Hawaiian boy, because the Hawaiian boy would tell him that we are part of the, the, kind of, the tribes of Israel, the lost tribes of Israel. And as a result of that, and, and, you know, they fit, fit me. And as a result, we were able to make a, a decent contribution, you know, and then be able to look to see the big picture and recognize that's just what we all are. We give to each other, we grow, and then two things. 
We live in one of the greatest countries in the world. And we live in the best state in the greatest country in the world. And we get fantastic people when we run across people like, like Ron and all of us who come together. You may go, I let you go. May God bless you. You are mine wherever you may be. This is a warning. Don't say aloha. Because you'll never find another Hawaiian like Ron. You'll never find another Hawaiian like Ron. Oh, thank you, Al.